Um, hey, my peeps. Um, it's about 10 till 11 at night, but I just got back from Tampa, which is about 45 to 30 minutes away from my house, because we went a little toy shopping. Okay. So the first thing I went to, I went in like an order. So the first place I went to was Barnes and Noble because they have like two Barnes and Nobles, three Walmarts, a Walmart. I mean, um, a Target, a Toys R Us, and a, um, but actually there is no Toys R Us in Tampa now because it used to be an Express one that actually didn't have anything, and now it's like closed. But the first place that I went to was Barnes and Noble, which Barnes and Noble, as you know, is the place where I get my pop figures. We run in, my mom started squealing. I say. <laughs> And I found Star Wars. <laughs> Go away from my door. Um, so we found Luke Skywalker, X-Wing pilot. If you've ever seen him in that episode. I have seen him in that episode. It's where he's like flying alongside someone else and he's really cool looking. He does look really cool. Um, so that's him. And I'm going to do a review on him. Um, my mom said, ooh, look. And we found Princess Leia. She is one of the main characters, Carrie Fisher. She has a book. Um, it's just, because you want all of the Leia's. Because Leia's look is so amazing. Like, she's got the buns. The buns are the thing. Just the Leia thing. It's the buns. And then she's got the beautiful little white gown. I'm so excited to be reviewing her. The thing that really gets me excited is because you know how I have Jabba the Hutt, right? And I said, I want the one that goes along with it. And I found Slave Leia. It's the fantasy of the Princess Leia in the gold bikini. It's supposed to be pretty hot. Um, and she goes with Jabba. Jabba the Hutt traps her and ties her up in little chains and ropes and everything, you know, to keep her in the same place. And she does slave work for him, with her hands tied behind her back. Um, so yeah, but she, he makes her look really pretty because he's just in a purple. He's just a bad dude. So yeah, I'm super excited for that. So then I went digging behind everything, and then I made my mom hold like 10 things because I successfully found... C-3PO! It is C-3PO, and thank you for the person who commented on my video saying that it was C-3PO. My mom used to get mixed up and call it C-P-3O, so I grew up saying that. Coming to find out that it was actually C-3PO. Oh, looky! On the back, it's a new set of people, which I will talk to you about um, in the video that I make for him. But he's awesome, because I saw something golden, and I was like, oh, C-3PO! <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's amazing. Now I have R2-D2 and his, and his little friend, C-3PO. He's actually kind of British. It's kind of funny. And those are all the pop figures that I did, that I got. I didn't get any more, because I went to the other Barnes & Noble and they didn't have anything. They had, they had the same ones, pretty much. But I don't know if you guys know, but, um, I once watched this miniseries called The Kennedys, and it had, like, Katie Holmes... Um, Greg Kinnear and um, the father is pretty famous um, I don't know if you know him but we found the miniseries The Kennedys and I love it I love it very much it's Barry Pepper and Tom Wilkinson Tom Wilkinson yes okay um, so that was fun I don't know if you guys like that but I, I liked that show I thought it really told the story um, we then went to Walmart You're like, what the heck is that? Um, I have a, I have, if you look right where my thumb is pointing, that is my little crop, clock radio. And down on the floor, I have a really old Monster High one. And I have not been able to get my radio to work well. I can't tune it. It is hard to know, because, like, the number on the tuner could be, like, 94. But the channel you're actually on could be, like, 97 or something. So I got a boom box. It's like a digital one. 
Um, so that one's really cool. I, I really like it. I think it's going to be really good. And it does Bluetooth, so I can use, like, I can use the Bluetooth from my phone. But for tonight, I think I'm just going to put on the radio. I'm one of those people that likes to sleep with music on in the background, because it just, it helps to go to sleep. Um, then I went to Target, because I was looking for my little pony blind bag everywhere, but I couldn't find any, but I found Go Friends Till the End. I still am in the middle of the second book, because I have not had any time to read. I am in, you know, nearing the end of eighth grade, and I have to read To Kill a Mockingbird, and I just have so many things to do. I'm really trying to get my grades up now that I've moved. So, but, um, I got it so that I could read during the summer, and so that I could be up to date with all the books. And I know that, um, Ever After I came up with a new one, and I just, actually, I did get that. I'm gonna pretend like I didn't tell you I already got it, but I did. Okay, so then I went to a Just Off. Just as bag of goodies. There, I went to two Justices, because there's, like, there's, like, three malls just in him. And I think you guys are going to love this. Oh my god. If you guys ever watched Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, this must remind you of that. Because this is a little cinnamon bun. I love cinnamon buns. I especially like the ones from Tim Hortons, which really makes me depressed because I don't have a Tim Hortons here in Florida. They're just the northern states. But now I can fake have a cinnamon bun. Okay. And then I got... This little pretzel t-shirt. It says, do you think we look cheesy? Of course not. Like a knot, because they're tied up in a knot. You know, you get it. Yeah. I bought, we had fun cards, so I bought the, um, the unfairest of them all. I wanted to stay on top and up to date with the books, just so that, you know, you guys would know that I had all of them. I could do reviews on them that I wanted. And everywhere from Justice to Claire's has My Little Pony blind bags, but they're all wave eight. I sadly looked up the codes, and basically I just looked at the code on the bag and looked at the picture and said, do I want this one? Um, so I got, at that Justice, I got one, two, three, and four blind bags um so there's four blind bags for me to review with it with you guys um then i went where's the tiny bag then i went to a claire's and i got one two three four blind bags four more blind bags for you guys um and I got this USA thing. I'm a celebrator of July 4th because this is my country. I'll just wear this for the rest of the video. Okay. Air conditioning. Oh, breeze. It's kind of hot today. Um, and then I got some July 4th jeans. Um, so that's really cool. And then I went to another justice in another mall. Um, and I got a hamburger. Where did it go? And I got a hamburger one. So now I have a cinnamon bun and a hamburger. They're like them. Um, I got this shirt. It's like Minnie and Mickey. I thought it was cute. It looks kind of like drawing. And I bought three blind bags. And actually, I have one more bag, so I'm going to hold on for a minute. <laughs> Turns out my mom actually threw the little pony under the door. Um, so then the last thing I got was I went to another Claire's and I got just one more blind bag. So actually, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve blind bags to show you guys. And I'm going to separate them into two videos. So you guys are going to be seeing 
by back opening number five and number six. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review, or the, not those review, um, this haul, because I really enjoyed going out and buying all the things that I did because some of the stuff was actually really helpful for me. Um, I'm just sad that at Justice I was looking for the zombie shake dolls. If you guys ever see them, if you guys live in Florida, anywhere in Florida, I don't care where, um, if you live in like Tallahassee or somewhere like there, that'd be kind of cray cray. But if you guys know where Newport Ritchie is and if you guys live about an hour away from there and you guys go to your Justice and find the zombie shake dolls, I would really, really, really appreciate it if you guys would um, tell me so that I could, you know, know where to look. And to be honest, I can't find any My Little Pony blind bags anywhere um, but the Toys R Us in Clearwater because um, I've gone to, the Target I went to today had literally two empty boxes. I've gone everywhere and I keep finding the Wave 10 empty boxes. And I'm just like, where are these people getting these? Why do they just leave them empty? Why don't they just put one in when I'm right standing there? So that's kind of what's bummed me out. But I got a bunch of blind bags and I'm ready to show you guys them later. So yes, please rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, favorite, and enjoy. Sorry this video was so long, it was supposed to be really short, but I just talk too much and I... I don't know, I guess I just like to have fun with you guys. So, um, thanks for watching. Bye-bye, guys.